the movement for, for climate justice, for environmental justice, is a natural extension of the civil rights movement. And I think on every level that what we need to do is start thinking about you know some of the tools that we you know have learned from the civil rights movement of the past and use it to our benefit you know it would be awesome you know considering the amount that actually for the poor actually pour into our gross domestic product and if we actually thought about using that you know the same way that you know the bus boycotts were used you know in the south um if we really you know understood how to buy with our dollars you know, at the things that really were dear to us instead of assuming that we had to continue to be this nation of consumers because that's what we all aspire to. Even though, you know, we, we are a really amazing group of people that we tend to vote in, not in our best interest and we vote, you know, aspirationally as opposed to where we are. Because um, I think it's, it often says something to us when we think about, well, I'm not that poor person, you know, who's gonna benefit from that. It's like, yes, yes you are. <laughs> A lot of us, more of us are than not. You know, the folks that are really thinking about the green economy and thinking about ways to like move us to a more, you know, renewable energy future that allows people to work in this country without actually having to threaten the environment. You know, that inspires me in a very, very big way. Um, and knowing that that's how we could be spending our dollars. I wish we all understood that Copenhagen is not going to be the beginning or the end of this and that what happens there, you know, unless there's like some ridiculously groundbreaking thing where we decide that we are going to go like well below 80%, which we know is not going to happen, that ultimately the work that needs to happen needs to happen here internally, that there does need to be the kind of mind shift that helps people understand that thinking about what happens to the least among us is actually okay and the only American thing for us to do right now.